Many people struggle with procrastination. We all have things we want to do but we never get the motivation to do them. We procrastinate a lot in our daily lives. Today I'm going to talk about how to stop procrastinating and give tips on what to do if you're struggling with procrastination. 1. Break tasks into smaller, manageable chunks. One of the main reasons people procrastinate is because a task seems overwhelming or too difficult to complete. By breaking a task down into smaller, more manageable chunks, it becomes less daunting and easier to tackle. For example, instead of trying to write a 20-page paper all at once, break it down into smaller tasks such as researching, outlining, writing a rough draft, and editing. This makes it easier to stay focused and make steady progress toward completing the final task. Additionally, you will be able to complete these smaller tasks and get a sense of accomplishment which can boost your motivation. 2. Set specific and realistic deadlines for each task. Setting deadlines for yourself can help you stay on track and motivated to complete a task. Make sure that the deadlines you set are specific and realistic. Be realistic about how much time you will need to complete each task and make sure that the deadlines you set are achievable. This will help you stay focused and motivated to complete the job before the deadline. Additionally, having a specific deadline in mind will help you prioritize your tasks and manage your time more effectively. It's also important to note that it's good practice to break down a big task into smaller subtasks and set different deadlines for each of them. This way you'll have a better understanding of the progress you're making toward the final goal. And also you will be able to see the progress and accomplishments you've made which can serve as a motivation boost. 3. Use a timer to help you stay on track and focused. Using a timer can help you stay focused on a task and avoid procrastination. It can also help you manage your time more effectively. The Pomodoro Technique, for example, is a time management method that involves working on a specific task for a short period of time, typically 25 minutes, followed by a short break. After four Pomodoros take a longer break. This technique helps you to stay focused during the work sessions and take breaks at appropriate interval. By setting a timer, you can create a sense of urgency and prevent yourself from getting distracted or sidetracked while working on a task. Additionally, the timer can serve as a reminder to take a break and give your brain a rest, which can help you to stay energized and focused throughout the day. Another option is to use an app that tracks your time, like Rescue Time, Toggle, or Time Doctor, to help you understand how you're spending your time and identify areas where you might be procrastinating. 4. Reward yourself after completing a task or a set of tasks. Rewarding yourself after completing a task or a set of tasks can be an effective way to stay motivated and overcome procrastination. When you have something to look forward to, it can make it easier to stay focused and motivated to complete your task. The rewards can be simple and small such as having a favorite snack or drink, going for a walk, or watching an episode of your favorite show. It could also be something more significant like a day off or a weekend trip, depending on the task you completed. The key is to make sure that the reward is something you genuinely enjoy and will I look forward to it. This can help you to stay motivated and focused on your tasks, as you will be working towards something you want. Additionally, it can also help to keep you motivated in the future as you will be looking forward to the next reward. 5. Reflect on the reasons why you procrastinate. Procrastination can be caused by a variety of factors, such as lack of motivation, fear of failure, or feeling overwhelmed by a task. To overcome procrastination, it can be helpful to reflect on the reasons why you procrastinate. This can help you to understand your own behavior and develop strategies to address the underlying causes. One way to reflect on the reasons why you procrastinate is by keeping a journal where you can record your thoughts and feelings as you work on a task. You can also ask yourself some questions such as, what is the task that I'm procrastinating on? Why am I procrastinating? What are the thoughts, feelings, or emotions that are coming up for me when I think about this task? What are the underlying reasons for my procrastination? By reflecting on the reasons why you procrastinate, you can better understand your own behavior and develop strategies to address the underlying causes. This can include things like setting specific goals, breaking down tasks into smaller, more manageable chunks, or finding ways to increase motivation. It's important to note that procrastination can be caused by different things for different people, and it's helpful to address the root cause rather than just trying to tackle the symptoms. I really hope this video helps you procrastinate less in your daily lives. If you found this video useful leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this.